Hello YouTube, I'm Dakota from Bowtide Media, and this is another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out uh, this week in EDM, at least songs I wanted to talk about. I think there are about 23 songs this week that came out that I felt should be highlighted in some capacity. Hope that maybe I'll give you some new stuff to listen to, some new stuff to enjoy. Uh, and as always, there is a Spotify link in the description down below to find all these tracks in an easy, nice place if you are a Spotify user. But uh, let's hop into it. Uh, we categorize it in five categories. Categories and the first is trash um, songs that I thought were were pretty much trash. Uh, there's just one song and it is "Lucky Ones" by Don Diablo. Uh, the vocals don't even sound like they're trying. The production is bland. The song just feels tired. Feels like Don Diablo was forced to wake up at gunpoint at 4 a.m. to make a track, and it just sounds so sleepy. Uh, and then we're moving into the bad category songs that I, uh, you know, I just, I kind of thought were bad. Again, remember, this is my opinion. Uh, we've got Missing You by Gareth Emery featuring Maria Lynn. Uh, another one that just felt like a weak kind of track all along, um, all around. The vocals aren't really that commanding in a song I think needed it. Uh, the synths are lacking and the mix was quite linear, felt quite flat to me. Uh, then we've got Tell Me by Panda Eyes and Hus Husque. Uh, it's a kind of chill, grooving track, but feels forced at times. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I was trying to explain this to, um, uh, my wife and I was just like, I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't really know how to explain it. It just feels forced. I think the way the, the vocals fall over the instrumental, especially with the kind of odd pitch down ending that is trying to make some sort of mix up, trying to make the song different in some capacity. I don't, it just feels forced is the best way I can describe it. Maybe hopefully that makes sense. Uh, then we got Parallels by Dion Timmer and Company. Uh, this one was a strange track for me. Uh, it felt like it wasn't really sure what it wanted to be the whole time in the track. Uh, not sure I dig the kind of co uh, the company synth growls with the kind of Dion Timmer subtle vocal inflections here. And so, I don't know, the songs felt like it was fighting to, it felt like there were two songs fighting for attention rather than being a fusion of two different tracks, so, or two different artists and, and their own sounds. So, w yeah, weird one for me. Then we got Voices by Riot 10. Uh, a nostalgic attempt here with the voice, uh, with the vocals, especially with that kind of um, horn section sound uh, to kind of match the, the vocal tone. Uh, but when it just put over the bass line, it just, it just feels so out of place. Um, the, the beat on the drops are wonky and not in like a good way of wonky, not in like a wonky sound genre, but... I, it's just weird. Weird tracks. Weird tracks this week, honestly, not gonna lie. Uh, but that brings us into meh songs that I thought were kind of just meh. Uh, we got back to the start. The VIP, originally by Trivecta, obviously, uh, featuring Isaac Warbutton. Uh, hard dance take on the original with a mixture of kind of these kind of complex tones all throughout. Uh, it's a good mix up, I would say, but I think the original is just a stronger track. Uh, then we got Fire in Your Eyes by Lisa and Lane Boy. It is a kind of quick slap house sound with that kind of deep bass line and kind of standard vocal performance, I would say. Nothing to really differentiate this self from any other slap house tracks out there right now. Then we've got When I'm Gone, the Nightmare Remix, originally by Peekaboo and Zelo. Zelo. A uh, bit of an older sounding track, I would say, with a, that very prominent melody line, both in the way it's structured and the way the synth is processed. It makes it sound like it's an older track. Um, but yeah, just not super interesting in the end. The remix just felt like it was not doing too much, but not bad. Uh, then we got Traveler by More Plastic and So Fawn. Uh, kind of a linear drum and bass track here, I would say, with not a ton going on sonically. Uh, with what it's doing, I feel like it's great and the, the sound is solid, but I just feel like there's this nagging sense that there could be a little bit more going on throughout the track. And then we got All Nighter by Tiesto. Uh, well, here's your big yearly Tiesto release. I'm sure there's gonna be more, but I think this will be the one that actually lands on the charts in the end, just the way that the, the lyrics are. And it's just kind of simple, very digestible track. Uh, but I think this has been one of the weakest uh, I've heard in him in a couple years. It's a tad same samey for what we've heard recently from him, uh, especially me going back into these tier lists of all the older songs, seeing the Tiesto on here. The, the other tracks have definitely, are, I think are a lot better than this one. And then we got Suffer in Silence by Rez. Uh, for Rez standards, uh, this is kind of a boring track. Uh, got that minor chord progression in there to kind of keep that haunting feel, that kind of creepy feel that Rez sort of um, is known for and produces heavily with him. And uh, uh, yeah, I think for Rez, it's, it's, it's just boring. Uh, not bad. Again, these are not bad, but they just feel like it's a little, a little lackluster. It's maybe the best word to put it. 
Uh, and then we got Miracle by Calvin Harris and Ellie Golding, a pseudo Euro dance beat to it, which is very new territory for Calvin Harris. Um, kind of mixed in with the more standard house beat here and there. Uh, it's definitely a unique sound, uh, one that I haven't heard a while and one that I'm sure we'll hear on the radio as well. Uh, but Ellie Golding's vocals are a little subdued, uh, but still solid as she always has been. Then we've got Vulnerable by Armin Van Buren featuring Vanessa Campagna. Uh, structurally a fairly different track than we've heard in recent uh, with a very long lead in and an ongoing drop on the back end from Armin here. Uh, kind of heavier tone to the track and uh, the vocals are a nice added touch as well. Then we've got Divergence by Uber and Fiso, a triumphant uh, victory trumpet lead uh, with a super pitched up synth melody line. It's a very fascinating track that I haven't really heard anything like in a while. Um, and yes, it is, it's Uber, so it's got that rhythm feel to it, uh, but with that really creative flair. So interesting track for sure. Uh, moving into the good category songs that I thought were Good. Uh, we've got At the Same Time by Oliverse. Uh, first of all, how many times would you like to hear At the Same Time uh, in one three-minute track? Because uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of times they say, at the same time. Uh, but jokes aside, uh, I actually really like this. I haven't been loving Oliver's uh, a ton recently. I haven't been super engaged with what they've been producing. But, uh, you know, this this is this is pretty solid. I like this one. Apart from overusing that one lyric, I think the production is great. Uh, kind of dancing between drum and bass. And at times, uh, a little bit of a trappy sound to it. But I liked it. Good mix up. Then we've got Forever by Nikki Romero and Nico and Vins. Uh, kind of a feel-good anthemic house track that I'm surprised I enjoyed as much as I did. It's uh, short yet feels a lot longer when you're actually listening to it. Uh, it's simplistic in nature, but I think for a house track that has that anthemic feeling and tone to it, I think this is one of the better ones I've heard in the last couple of years, I would say. Then we've got a Hollow by Haleen and Elefante. Uh, this uh, surprised me because I hadn't been, again, in the past, historically looking at my own preferences, hadn't been liking Haleen a ton, hadn't been liking Elefante's last album, and it's a melodic dubstep too, and I didn't really like that, but uh, this somehow landed uh, pretty solid in my books. Um, I I think I'm just the sucker for the stutter drops, the kind of do -do 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 -do, like kind of like big rise and falls of the like staircase stutters. I uh, I think I'm just a sucker, and uh, Haley's vocals are always great. It's the production from her that I kind of am a little bit more iffy on, but uh, yeah, really really liked it. Really like this one. Uh, then we've got Fix Me by Skylar and Josh Rubin. Uh, something about Monster Cat's trap tracks just sit well with me very personally. Um, it's not too crazy, but I think it's very well produced and uh, it's very heavily sidechained. And uh, I think it works quite wonders uh, for this track for, I guess, me specifically. Again, my opinion. That's how all this works. Uh, then we've got Fool Me by Chill. Uh, Speed House is here and it's on Monster Cat now. Uh, Speed House is... I mean, pretty self-explanatory. It's just really fast house. Uh, it sounds very similar to like a happy hardcore one, just without that kind of dung, 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 dung. It's like everything else that you would expect just without that uh, kind of booming bass line. But uh, yeah, the track is very fun. Uh, it's very carefree and it's just very joyous, I would say is the best way to, uh, to put it. It sounds like when I first heard Tokyo Machine come on to Monster Cat, it sounds very similar. Yes, there's the kind of the like the kind of chibi artwork as, as well. And it, there's lots of things that draw parallelisms between this and like a Tokyo Machine release to me. But this has the same sense of kind of very just fun. I'm ready to get going track. So I liked it. Then we've got Rewind, But I Love You uh, by Whipped Cream. Uh, the Someone You Can Count On EP is out now on Monster Cat as well. Uh, and this is the best of the three newer tracks that are coming out with the EP. It's got that constant growl of a bass line that's uh, nipped at times to kind of bring more anticipation for the drop coming forward. Uh, I think it's a pretty unique sound and uh, is a very uh, genre kind of fusion all over the place. You can't really put it down on one specific sound. Uh, so... Good track. I really liked this one. I, I haven't heard a ton of people talk great about it, but I've I'm been loving the whipped creamy pee personally. Uh, then we got The Hard Way by Panau and Khalid. I hope this one makes it big on the charts. It has all the recipes for it, but I think it's great. It's a vibey track with stellar production. Uh, Khalid sort of just going for it at the end there, especially. I think it's a well-made quality tune that uh, should, should chart well. I actually, I'm hoping that this one charts well. 
Then we got From Atoms to Pixels by Chime and Sakai, which is our penultimate track of the week. And uh, my goodness, I did a reaction to this one already. This is the second single from an upcoming album by Chime. And uh, I like this one way more than Beyond the Peak that came out the week prior. Uh, this is just stellar. It feels like every time they're very showcase tracks. Um, I didn't love the vocals in the first little bit, but as the song kind of sort of progressed and kept going, um, I thought they, I sort of, they sort of stood out more so than I would have expected them to early on. And uh, yeah, just production is solid. It just feels like, it just feels so much so much is happening and it feels so chaotic yet balanced and it just feels like feels like a great track. And our last track of the week is still in good no standouts this week. Uh, we've got Assumptions by the K Tronada remix, I should say, originally by Sam Gallucci or, or the edit, not the remix. But uh, yeah, really well produced track. This is one that's a little bit more simplistic in nature and a little bit more down to earth, I would say, a little bit more calm. Uh, but just the way it's produced and the quality in which it's produced at is just phenomenal. Um, this is a, uh, a dance club track through and through with a kind of classic Sam Gallucci uh, synths pack with the uh, killer mixing from K Tronada. Uh, this is the kind of the quintessential club track, I would say. But uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, that is this week in EDN. Let me know if I missed any songs, anything that you thought I uh, should have uh, should have talked about or uh, any comments on any of these songs I have here. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.